It's War Dragon time. RPW here with the news of the week from War Dragons. That's right, guys. If you don't know what's coming up this week, then be sure to stick around because guess what? I do. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the first thing here, which is very important, is don't forget to sign up for the weekly drawing giveaway here on my channel where you can win a $20 in-game pack. That's right, $20 worth of goodies to help you up with the next upcoming event, which we will announce very shortly. Now, this past week, of course, we had Players Week where I dedicated my channel to you, the player, and I'm hoping to give the final thoughts on this today and this week. Now, of course, this week will be... Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Try to set the night off. All right, PvP a Team Gauntlet, which is the one with all the little islands that swirl around. And then, of course, it has the regularly pop-up of a PvP island. Now, if you're new and you don't really know a lot about this, be sure to go check out my event guide series right here on my channel. And you can actually go in there and you're going to find one that's called, of course, the event guide series Team Gauntlet Part 1 and Part 2. So be sure to go check those out so that you know what you're doing this event. This is a great one for any new players on your team you can share with as well. Now, do you have your costumes ready for Halloween? I know I'm going to be a witch this year, but right here in the game, you're gonna have the chance to get this limited time horseman portrait so that you can sport it this Halloween. Now, this will be a branch of 28 prizes, including four portraits of this headless horseman horseman, excuse me, a horseman, which will both include a background and a backgroundless version that you can choose from. Now with this, there's also going to be a really cool time frame where you're going to be able to get the Halloween special value packs. You know, if you remember back to the summer treasure packs, they will be doing the same thing for Halloween this year where you're going to be able to buy value packs that will include, that's right, Dusk Fall Sigils. So if you're wanting to grab you up some extra sigils, then this will be the chance to do it. And then of course, if you really want this, you better grab it up this week because it is a limited time item and it'll only be here for one week. That's right, one week only. And of course, the Festive Dragon is almost here. Yay, I've been saving back my sigils for this. I'm so excited to see what his spells are. So if you don't already know, Somnus is um, a name that was given to this dragon through a War Dragons naming contest for this very beautiful dragon that all the community was a part of creating by going to the Twitch live streams and being a part of it. Now, the things we already know about this dragon is of course what it looks like, what its name is, and that it is a dark elemental dragon. However, what we don't know is what kind of dragon is it? Is it a warrior? Is it a hunter or a sorcerer? Now it's possible it's a sorcerer. I don't know, I'm kind of hoping it is because I know that my baby who's a sorcerer is going to be topped out at um, Obsidian, but I know there's a lot of people that would like to see it be a hunter as well. So be sure to tune in this week, which will be tomorrow, into the Twitch live stream at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time so you can find out more details. All right, so the next thing I want to go through is the Players Week with RPW. Before we move on to my final thoughts when it comes to this series, I want to personally thank all the players that were a part of using their voice on Players Week here on my channel. That would include Odin, Real Pain Mama, who is my mommy, Butterboy, Lorik, and Kimo, as well as Don, Saitama MD, and Kushbu. Now, you all had great points. You know, something that you wanted to share with the community, lift your voice to PG, whether it be something that you were frustrated with about the game or the things that you most loved. Now, one of the things I want to point out, which I thought was extremely fantastic, is of course that most of these players had the same answer, at least common answers, when it comes to why they play the game. Why they continue playing the game even on days that they don't feel like playing, which most of them would say, the people, the community, my team, my commitment to those that I care about in the game. Now, this is a very important thing that I want not only the community to know, but PG as well. You know, notice that a lot of these players stick around for this game because of each other, not necessarily for the content within the game. Now, the content is awesome. Most of all of us also share the fact that we all love dragons, but remember, the biggest piece here is the community. Now, many players, of course, had different concerns as well. And not all of these are something that I completely agreed with or I stood you know, with, of course. But that doesn't mean that I personally think that they shouldn't have a voice. You know, they don't make them any less of an issue. 
A great example of this is, of course, when Kushboo said that, you know, one of the things she doesn't like about the game is the Mega Coin. Now, many of the players have been around since before the Mega Coin will tell you that they do not necessarily like the Mega Coin. This is something they're completely against. Now, I personally have been around since after the inception of the Mega Coin. And I like to utilize this to my advantage, not necessarily to slay other teams, but I definitely like to use it, of course, because I'm a busy person. You know, between being a leader, um, playing my own game, being a mom, being a wife, you know, having a regular life on top of my YouTube channel, sometimes I just don't have time to grind like I used to. So these mega coins do make it possible for me to at least make my points. Now, on the contrary, there are things that, of course, people you know, had mentioned that I did agree with. You know, I don't necessarily share these on my channel as a negative opinion, but that doesn't mean that I don't care about them less importantly. And of course, number two, it doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to speak my mind as a Creators Faction member. Please know that Creators Faction members do speak their mind. We don't necessarily always put it out here in the platform for everyone else to see because these are opinions and we don't want them to be mistaken as facts. Now, the reason I choose to bring these or not bring these negative things to my channel has nothing to do with me being a Creators Faction member though. Please know that there are other reasons. Now the first reason is because I want my channel to be a beginner friendly channel. You know, a lot of beginners come into this game and I want this channel to be something that they can utilize to better their gaming experience. Now bettering your gaming experience doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to include things like rants, especially on issues that they don't understand yet. The second reason is because some players just want to go somewhere where they can get the info and get out of there. They don't necessarily want to hear the rant outside of that information. Now, the last reason, which is the biggest reason, is by personal choice. I don't like negative energy around me. I like to have positive, feel-good feelings around me. And I know that that might sound crazy to some of you, but as you get older and your heart gets weaker, it is something that you don't want. I mean, I've already got teenage kids, guys. Like, it's a lot of negative stuff happening just with two teenage daughters, you know, or just having the game in general. So I try not to keep myself surrounded by it. And when I say that, I literally mean this past week, you can ask anybody that plays with me regularly, my um, playtime has suffered because it's been a very stressful week for me. So I prefer not to have that, you know, go over, check out Odin, let him rant for you, let him be passionate with you. He's a lot younger and I think he can handle that far better than I can. Now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and wrap up my final thoughts on the things that I would like to see change about this game as we move forward. And maybe, maybe we can have a more successful um, gaming experience as at least a community. Now, the first thing I want to point out is I'm not happy with the cadence. You know, it's not that it's 100% terrible, but it's not 100% great either. There are some things about the that I'm not happy with. Number one, you know, everybody is not big on change. And when there's a lot of issues going on in the game already that they're having to deal with, you know, that change is not necessarily going to be welcomed. Um, another reason is because of the food slash lumber boost balance. I mean, literally, if you go in to collect any prizes right now, you're going to be able to attain far more of the food boost than you will lumber boost. And it was already like really bad in comparison to how often they were rolling around. I remember when I first started playing, you know, different ones would be on different branches and you could get so many. And there was more of a balance where you could get whichever ones you wanted more of, whatever. Where in this situation, you are getting way more of the food boost, but yet way less feeding events and way more or way less of the um, lumber boosts, but yet way more fortification events. And now they're coming in a week earlier, which really is going to cause an upset on that, I personally feel. So that's one of the things I'm not crazy about when it comes to the cadences. But another reason is because, you know, with the change, you know, you've got, of course, your PvP events, which would give us things like timers. And so when you spend all your timers in one event, you expect a PvP so you can make up for those timers and then go in and have the timers to speed up your dragons. So there's also that balancing issue. Now, one of the most important things that I feel needs to change on PG's end is the way that they talk to their customers. You know, they need to be a little more upfront about and forthcoming about things. Try not to surprise everything. I get it, we're used to the surprises, for example, when the events are gonna be announced or whatever. But when it comes to things like cadence changes or anything of that nature, I feel that it needs to be a softer blow or it needs to be more community involved and let us be a part of those types of decisions. 
Now, ultimately, they're going to decide what happens with their game because this is their game. You know, they're going to see things on their end that we don't necessarily see. But, 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 there is a big but. You know, doing these types of changes during a time frame where there's already so much negative energy due to, for example, some issues within the game, the bannings that shouldn't have happened, the egg token bonus di boost issues, etc. It just doesn't seem like the right time. It's not that we wouldn't be ready for a change in cadences, but the timing was terrible. Now, ultimately, we don't all love change. I know like I watch TV show, they make, you know, one of the characters a different person and you're like, no, it's I don't like change. But sometimes it does work out. Sometimes it ends up being better. So we do need to be somewhat open minded when it comes to these things. Now, ultimately, we also need to remember that, you know, yes, War Dragons is very much a part of this game, but we are the community are a big part of this game too. We are what helps keep this game going. So if you're still playing, even if you are upset, that means you haven't lost hope yet. So let's remember, you know, they are trying to improve things. So keep giving your feedback, you know, but do it on the right platforms, do it in the right ways so that we don't create a bigger mess. You know, there is a big war, a big player hostile situation as we speak because there's so many people that are speaking up that are on different ends of the spectrum that the community, the very thing that we all play for is now becoming hostile towards one another, which is not good for this game. So if you love this game, let's figure out a way to keep it going. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Literally this past week, I spent hours, and I do mean hours, in app stores looking for games and trying out games that would be similar to this one that might you know, give me what I want out of this game that it gives me that might be out there on another one. But I'm going to be honest with you, I couldn't find it. I could not find a game that was something that I could replace this one with. So for me, it is very important that we push this game forward and make it better, um, but also be understanding to the changes and the things that PG can and cannot do. That is very important. Now, I get that a lot of players don't feel like they're being treated like humans, they're not being listened to, but we do need to remember that this is a two-way street. You know, the people at PG are also people. You know, they aren't going to be perfect. They're going to make mistakes. They're going to get frustrated, especially with all the lash outs. So let's keep that in mind as well, okay? Please. Now, I have personally been given the special honor to, of course, be in the presence of many of these players and have conversations with them at this last summit that I was invited to. And I will tell you, all of the players that I, or I'm sorry, all of the employees that I talked to were fantastic. They were, you know, willing to listen. They were willing to talk. They were very kind and very personable. And they seemed to be very thankful that we were there giving up our time to be with them. So if that's the case, please don't think that they're these evil people up at PG. In fact, there was a beautiful story they told us about Axie and quite a few other things while we were there that really touched my heart. Like it was very pull at the heartstrings that I think should be shared with the entire community. So I've actually reached out to PG and I'm hoping that they're going to be able to squeeze it in, but I'm hoping that they're going to be on uh, my channel for this Let's Talk Dragon Tuesday, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let's start that over, on Let's Talk Dragons, which should be on Friday. And if so, you're going to be able to hear this very heartwarming story about Axie and how she came about. And then hopefully we can also tie up some of the questions that you guys had for Jared on his video last season so that we can get that finished out. And then of course, I've been doing some research. I'm not quite finished yet, but throughout the week, we'll also be clearing up some of the hazy areas that we don't understand and also talk about the things that you can do to prevent yourself from being a victim of being banned. Because there are some things out there that is causing this that aren't even PG, that's not them, but players are falling victim to other players that are not necessarily good people. And we'll go over that later and tell you how you can protect yourself because you don't want to lose this game that you put all of this time and any money into. I mean, because that would be terrible. And then, of course, we'll talk about, um, you know, some of the things that we weren't for sure of when it comes to banning for sharing accounts, for example. So I will, of course, see everybody later this week on things like that. But before we cut this out and move on to our day and 
get ready for the next PvP, let's go ahead and jump right into the information you need to know to get ready for this week's entry. All right, so if you scroll clear to the bottom and put in the word hashtag TDT and underneath put your in-game name, then you will be entered for a chance to win a $20 in-game pack for this week. Yes, guys, that's $20 worth of prizes provided by War Dragons, and you will be chosen by me in a live drawing this week. Um, so this is a very fair, fun, you know, um, thing for you. Now, I will be bringing in the more challenging and fun style um, giveaways that I used to do in the past. If you remember back to, um, for example, trying to guess how many fireballs were in the jar, we will be going back to stuff like that. It has been a big challenge to keep up with the videos and everything else with you guys as a leader, especially now that we went into Atlas. There was just so much going on. So I have actually decided to make a huge leap and a huge change into my um, involvement with my team. And I've actually asked my husband to step in. He is now the leader and I've actually made a whole new officer change with him as well. So where we can give every player that was in the leadership a break. So if you ever find yourself being burnt out, like it's just too much, you know, please know you can lean on the fellow players in your team. So thank you, my beautiful husband, for willing to jump in and be the leader of this team for a while so that I can actually focus in when making these videos for all of you. It literally came down to choosing my team or choosing my YouTube and it has been a long few weeks trying to decide this. Now, of course, last week it was even worse. So I'm probably also fighting on the negative emotions that was coming with um, all the negative things that was happening. But I think that this is gonna be for the best, most definitely. You know, it's gonna be nice to get a break and of course bring more content here to you guys on my channel. So with that being said, that's right, more content will be coming, including my um, Atlas Explorer series. I'm gonna be working on that some more this week. We didn't bring it in last week only because of the Players Week. And then of course, like I said, hopefully later this week, check back, we're gonna have hopefully PG stop in and tell us the story of Axie and answer some of her questions. Alrighty, that is it for this week's Talk Dragon Tuesday. For, don't forget, of course, to go down and sign up for the giveaway. And then before you leave, if you like today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and join the discussion. Put some things down in the comments section below. And then of course, if you have any new players on your team, please, please, please share these videos with them because that is what it's all about to me, is helping those smaller players become big guys in this you know, in this contest of dragons. So yeah, anyways, see y'all later, bye.